you're in a custody battle with your ex. You're both fighting for custody over your children. You find that a guardian ad litem has been appointed by the court and that person wants to come and do a home visit. What can you expect? Hi, I'm attorney Paul Whalen from Afford Law. At Afford Law, we practice criminal and family law throughout Massachusetts. Our fees are all based on a sliding scale, which is based on your income. Simply put, the less you make, the less you pay. So let's talk about guardian ad litems in a child custody situation. So you're getting divorced, you have children uh, with your soon-to-be ex. The question is going to become, who gets custody of the children? If you cannot agree, one of the things that may happen is that a court could appoint a guardian ad litem. What is a guardian ad litem? A guardian ad litem is a uh, professional, it's usually a lawyer or a social worker, um, that investigates the best interest of the children, uh, to trying to decide um, where the ch children would be best suited. So the guardian ad litem typically doesn't um, make recommendations to the judge directly, although they can if the judge asks for that. What they are is they are an investigator for the court. So the judge can't go out to your home and do an investigation to each of you uh, to decide, you know, what's what's in the best interest of the children and where would the children be uh, better off at whose home. So they hire this guardian ad litem. So that person, uh, as they say, is a professional and they are doing an investigation on behalf of the court and they will report back to the court on their findings. So I've been a guardian ad litem on a number of cases in a couple of different states. So I can tell you uh, sort of from the inside what to expect. One of the things that's going to happen is the guardian ad litem is going to do home visits for both your home and the home of the other parent. What can you expect from those visits? Well, the first thing the guardian ad litem is looking for is th the safety of the children. They want to make sure that the home is safe and that you are a fit parent. So that's the sort of the bare minimum that should be expected uh, of, a, of a home situation for your children. So the, the, um, the home visit, the investigation actually begins even before they show up at your house. So when you're speaking to them on the phone, perhaps you might have a, an office visit with them first. They're summing, they're um, sizing you up. They're making um, opinions, forming opinions about you, about your relationship with the children. They want to see, particularly at the home visit, they're looking to make sure that the children are, have a safe environment. One of the things you know that they look for is they want to make sure that the children are cared for. So they look to see, make sure that there's enough food in the refrigerator and in the home. The children are getting regular meals. Um, they're looking to see if the neighborhood is safe. They want to make sure that there are no dangerous people that you're allowing into your home that could be a, a threat to your children. They want to make sure that the child has a a clean, warm place to, to sleep, um, and uh, that they have appropriate toys, they have appropriate play things and so forth. Uh, and if there are other people in the house, uh, either siblings or family members or whoever it might be, they want to make sure that the child is uh, safe. So that's the, that's the A number one uh, criteria that they would be looking for is the safety of the children. Beyond that, they want to make sure that the relationship that you and your children have is a strong one. So they will be looking for the interaction between the two of you in your home environment. So they want to make sure that you're getting along, that the children respect you and will do what you're to what they are told by you, that you're not um, an angry parent, that you're not lashing out at the children or threatening them in any way. Uh, and they're looking to, to sort of just get the vibe of the relationship between the two of you. As I say, there are also oftentimes other people in the home either your parents or, or family members or whatever, they want to make sure that those folks uh, have a good relationship with your children as well. Again, first of all, from a safety point of view, and secondly, just that the, uh, that home environment is one where, the ch where your children will thrive, where they're safe and where they can grow up and uh, have, a, have a great experience uh, in their childhood. So they'll be looking for those kinds of things. Uh, they'll be looking at your home, they'll be going to your, uh, uh, your ex's home as well to, d to do the same thing. So they want to make sure they speak to everybody that's, uh, that's living at the house and they want to talk to anybody who is a frequent visitor, if you will. So for instance, if you have, uh, if, if you're separated and you have a boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever it might be, if they're coming over, 
they want to see if, if you're allowing them to stay overnight while the children are there. Um, how much access do they have uh, to your child? What is, what is the relationship between that person to your child? Uh, again, first of all, from a safety point of view, they want to make sure that they're not a dangerous person. And secondly, they want to see if that's a relationship that will help the child uh, develop uh, and will, will grow. So uh, home visits are extremely important uh, because, as I say, what's learned at the home visits will be reported back to the judge, and that may very well uh, influence his or her decision as to who gets custody and how much visiting uh, visitation time there is uh, and so forth. So when you get the notice that there's a home visit plan, make sure, you know, you want to put your best foot forward. So clean the house, make sure there's food in there, make sure your uh, children's toys are around, make sure that they're comfortable in the home, uh, the children are comfortable in the home, that is. Uh, and just be try to be relaxed with the guardian ad litem, answer whatever questions they might have, and just show to them that you have a real, genuine, loving relationship with your children uh, and that they would be best suited to be in your home primarily rather than that of the other parent because they're going to be looking at the same thing from the other side. So there's going to be a comparison. They can't live in both places, obviously. So at some point, uh, the judge is going to have to make, make a decision, and a lot of that's going to be based on the report from the guardian ad litem. As I say, at a Ford Law, we do practice criminal and family law throughout Massachusetts. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit us at affordlaw.org. Book a free virtual appointment with me. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have about any family law or criminal law questions. Um, we do make ourselves as affordable as possible to the hardworking men and women of Massachusetts. Because if you're going through a child custody battle, the last thing you need to worry about is paying for the attorney uh, to represent your rights. But you very much should have an attorney in your corner, someone with experience uh, who can stick up for you uh, and protect your rights. So let, as I say, feel free to contact me. I'd be happy to talk to you at any time uh, because at Afford Law, we're making justice affordable. Thank you.